Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I'm a research scientist in the area of environmental and analytical chemistry. And the reason I'm whispering is because I'm in the office and I don't want anyone to hear me. So this is probably going to be the last research scientist vlog of the year. I will give you another video before the year is over, but vlog wise, I think this is going to be the last one. Today I'm just going to take you around on my day and show you what I get up to. It is a little bit of a funny day today because it is that Christmas season and we are going out for a Christmas lunch today in the middle of the day. So that is with some of my colleagues. We're going to a restaurant that's not far from where we work. But this morning I actually need to prepare some standards for a trial of a new method that I'm going to do tomorrow. So basically the compounds that I was analysing in the salmon in previous videos that you would have seen, I now want to look at those compounds in river water. So I am using a different method and need to validate that method. So I'm just going to trial it with a couple of samples, a couple of spiked samples tomorrow and I need to do some preparations for that today which includes filtering water and preparing standards. So speaking of fish, my office mate Sarah was actually out on field work yesterday and she sent me a text message with a picture of a fish that she found on the side of the river. It was a, a dead fish. We only collect dead wild fish. We never collect alive wild fish. And she texted me saying, do you want this fish? because I'm doing a lot of research on fish at the moment and I did not expect the fish to be so big. I will insert some footage here of how big the fish actually was. <laughs> I think the fish is a salmon, but it's really interesting that it's got that kind of like hook on its chin. So I think it might be an Atlantic salmon. If anyone knows anything about fish, please do let me know what type of fish it is, but I need to get it ID'd. We have colleagues at Marine Scotland who can help with that, so I'm going to send them some pictures also. So yeah, if I keep sitting here for a while, I will not go to the lab. So I'm going to put my headphones in, put in a podcast, and we're going to go and make those standards before I get lazy and do not move my butt and go to the lab. <laughs> Hello friends, I am back from the Christmas lunch. It was nice, I had macaroni and cheese. I will put picture here. It was okay, it wasn't the best macaroni cheese I ever had, but it was nice to be out with some colleagues and to have a little pre-Christmas lunch. So yeah, I am back now. I was in the lab briefly filtering some more water samples. Basically the method that I'm now working on is with river water samples. And so I was just passing millicue water through the filter. I'm just trying to mimic the method for when I actually have river water samples to work on. And I'm going to spike the samples. So I was preparing the spike solutions also, which is basically different stock solutions of different concentrations. I'll add different volumes to the, I think I have nine bottles of water, filtered water, and we will try and recover the analytes from the water samples. So that will be tomorrow because I will do solid phase extraction tomorrow and file everything up and get them ready to run them on Friday. But for now, I have a meeting in 10 minutes with my supervisor, so I need to prepare for that. I'm going to let him know the very good results that I got. I don't think I told you guys yet, but a couple of videos ago I was developing a method for PFAS in salmon and it was my second attempt of doing it because the first time something went a bit weird and the results were not quite how I wanted them to be. I also was spiking at too low concentrations, so I wasn't seeing peaks at the lower concentrations, which meant that I only had about three data points to do my calibration curve. Not my calibration curve, but my linearity curve of the recovery of the compounds from the salmon. So I did it with more concentrations and higher concentrations and it worked and it's looking good. So I'm very excited to show my supervisor the data. I did already send him the slides, but we're gonna just go over it in a little bit more detail. I also can't remember if I told you, but I'm applying for another grant. Still haven't found out about my first grant that I applied for a couple of months ago, the 5,000 pound one, but this one is for more money to cover my time and it's for basically it enables you to collect 
pilot data, like preliminary data for then applying for a bigger grant. And this is run by my institute and it's quite competitive. So I am going to put forward a grant application in January because it's due at the end of February and fingers crossed we get it. And it means that I will be able to look at my PFAS in even more fish because as I told you, I'm working on a lot of fish at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to prepare for this meeting for 10 minutes. I've got my meeting at 2.30 and then we're going to spike the samples ready for the SBE tomorrow. So I will take you to the lab after the meeting and show you the spiking situation. Good morning my friends, happy Thursday. I said yesterday it was just going to be a one day vlog. I feel like I didn't take too much footage so I'm going to also show you what I'm up to today. Uh, apologies for the lighting but I've got all the lights on because as you can see it's pitch black outside because it's winter in Scotland and we're approaching the final day of the sh sh shortest days of the year. We're approaching the winter solstice on the 21st so we've got one week to go. Was it the 22nd? I think it's the 21st. So I am literally counting down the days, but I am making breakfast just now. And I just thought I'd show you what I'm making. I'm making some protein pancakes. It's from Protein Works, the, the batter. So I've got the batter here. I'm just gonna put some low sugar granola, some maple syrup, some blueberries, some peanut butter, some chia seeds. We're getting all that health this morning. It's currently eight minutes past eight. I'm probably going to end up going to the lab well, to work at around 8.30. That's just the way that it's working today. I did yoga this morning and we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Here are my pancakes, absolutely drenched in granola so you can hardly see them. I've got two more cooking. Look how thick this one turned out. <laughs> and these are for breakfast tomorrow. Beautiful, this one's so cute, look at it. And I'm burning it. I'm burning them. <laughs> Thriving and surviving. <laughs> Just can't wait for it to be the Christmas holidays. <laughs> I am actually back home now. I finished work at five because I had to finish off preparing the samples to run tomorrow, even though I've decided I'm not going to run them tomorrow because with this type of analysis, you actually need to run quite a few standards. The run time is long. I leave early on a Friday. I don't want to rush everything and set it up to run over the weekend and then there's problems and then I have to rerun them. So I'm going to, re I'm going to run them on Monday and tomorrow I'm going to set up the instrument to run some of our other analysis that we do on our river water samples but this afternoon uh, you would have seen that I had a meeting that was actually this morning I lied this morning I had a meeting a committee meeting for Society of Chemical Industry which you've heard me mention before I am now the vice chair instead of the treasurer so we just had one of our uh, monthly committee meetings and then I had lunch well before lunch I actually set up all of my SPE columns to wash so I washed all of the lines because I didn't want any contamination uh, because yeah this analysis can get contaminated quite easily. So I washed all of the lines of the SPE and then I set up all of my bottles with the SPE lines so that they would automatically pull up the sample from my bottles. Just to go back, I conditioned the SPE columns. So that's getting them prepared for loading the sample. I loaded the samples from the bottles and then I eluted the samples from the columns. And yeah, they are now waiting in their vials to be dried tomorrow, ready for Monday. So that was my afternoon. I know I said at the beginning of the vlog that this would not be my final video of the year, but I'm just thinking timing wise, I'll probably be posting this video on Sunday, maybe Monday, Tuesday next week. And then the weekend after it's Christmas. And then if I'm to post a video, it'll probably be midweek 
of that week after so maybe like the 28th or the 27th and I just feel like maybe I need some time off <laughs> from creating content from editing and from thinking about YouTube stuff and content creation and all that jazz so I actually think this video is going to be my final video of the year I'm excited to say that there are some exciting changes coming to the channel for 2024 so they will be introduced yeah, early 2024 when I'm back with my next video and I'm super excited to share those changes with you guys and hopefully next year we can make it to 10,000 subscribers. I don't know if that's going to happen based on the growth of my channel over the last three years I think it's been but it would be amazing to be able to reach 10,000 subscribers next year which means that I'd have to gain about three and a half thousand subscribers which is probably not going to happen but one can wish so yeah if there's any particular types of content that you'd like to see in the new year please do let me know below thank you all so much for supporting my channel over this past year no matter when you subscribed whether that was yesterday or whether it was six months ago whether it was a year ago I am very very grateful for every single one of you I hope you have a lovely holiday break I hope you all managed to take some time off maybe spend some time with family and friends if you can and yeah just i hope you all rest and recharge ready for 2024 thank you as always for watching my videos and i will see you in 2024 bye